If I told you that astronomers found an invisible galaxy, would you believe me? I was a little shocked when I read the title or the headline of this, and it turns out that the galaxy actually is invisible. And that's because it doesn't have any stars in it, which is really crazy to think about. So most of the time we see galaxies and they're luminous because, well, they have millions to billions of stars in them. But some galaxies, especially when they're really old, this one is a primordial galaxy, it actually ran out of its stars. It doesn't have any more stars. It's kind of just this dark gas that's sort of collected together and is still held gravitationally. The galaxy's fancy catalog name is J0613 plus 52. And it was discovered from astronomers at the Green Bank Observatory, uh, specifically Karen O'Neill, who discovered the galaxy by mistake, which is like literally the best way to discover things is by an accident, which I love it because it means that accidents Maybe really aren't accidents after all. She was actually taking like a large radio survey of a specific region of the sky and had actually put in the incorrect coordinates and stumbled on this like disc of gas um, and was like, huh, this is like really weird. There's no stars in this disc of gas. It turned out that that disc of gas was only a small part of a larger galaxy that turned out actually contained a few stars, only a couple stars here and there. This galaxy is something known as a diffuse galaxy, which means that it's been diffusing or losing uh, a lot of its gas and matter for millions of years. Because of this, diffuse galaxies are known for having really low luminosity. This galaxy is located a whopping 270 million light years away from Earth. Apparently like no neighboring galaxy so it's like totally out there alone. And if it actually had neighboring galaxies, it would have probably helped with triggering some kind of star formation. And so it turns out that possibly a few stars in this galaxy, but they're probably not gonna be around for much longer because they kind of need this matter and heat and other elements from other stars to enforce each other and, and help them form more stars. But if there's just like a star kind of by itself, it's it's not going to help form even more stars in the galaxy. Now, since astronomers believe there actually are stars because of the data they've collected, it shows good evidence that stars do exist. That would raise the question of stellar evolution. That would raise the question of, huh, are there things we don't really understand about star formation if there are these kind of one-off stars that exist in a galaxy of just sort of cold, dark matter. What about galaxy evolution? Without other stars in the galaxy to help trigger other star formation, how did these stars form? Um, it, it, it's probably, it definitely was difficult. Uh, it had to have been a, a very rare occurrence, um, but that could actually lead to better understandings of galaxies like this and how star formation may happen under other circumstances. Now, what is the entire evolution of these galaxies? What were they like before? What are they gonna be like in the future? Are they gonna completely lose all shape? I mean, these are really just some questions that I think of uh, that astronomers might start exploring when it comes to studying things like diffuse galaxies. Don't be like a diffuse galaxy and spread out all over YouTube. Hang out here a little bit. Why don't you subscribe to my channel? Give me a thumbs up if you actually like this video. Leave a comment if you knew a little something about diffuse galaxies or if you didn't and maybe learned something in this video. And feel free to share this video with someone. Alrighty, signing out. Bye!